Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Saf and I am back with a very interesting topic related to chatbot. Today we will develop a Rasa chatbot and customize it according to our problem or needs using a cloud based Jupyter notebook. So be with us till the end and don't forget to subscribe my channel. So let's get started. As you all know, Rasa is an open source machine learning framework used for developing AI based chatbot. So to use Rasa for developing the chatbot, you have to install it uh, into the local machine either by Python environment setup or by virtual environment setup. Um, but sometimes installing libraries on local machine is really painful as some of the dependencies do not match with the current version of libraries and its supporting dependencies lot of time you can solve it by just upgrading the dependencies but many time you may fail to resolve such issue and uh, upgrading the libraries or dependencies also create a new problem with pre-existing libraries so lastly you may create a new virtual environment for every project that you may do but that's a not a good idea for every project to overcome such issue we use cloud based jupyter network that is collab where all the installation is being done very smoothly and we can also develop a rasa chatbot using jupyter notebook so let's move to the collab as you see this is the welcome notebook of collab now let's create our new notebook for our rasa chatbot well jupyter notebook is now open now first connect the jupyter notebook with the server and wait for a moment so it can properly connect it to it and then we we'll start writing the code as it is connected to the server let's install some of the packages for rasa development the first one is rasa itself so type pip install rasa don't forget to put the version 1.10.3 as the latest version of rasa is not compatible with the latest version of tensorflow 2.4.1 so that's why we use rasa 1.10.3 don't worry it doesn't vary much with the latest version wait a moment it takes some time to install all the dependencies related to rasa don't worry about the warnings or errors but doesn't affect in our development well rasa is installed successfully now install the second most important package for rasa development is spacy so type python m c actually spacy is uh, nlp libraries used by rasa to understand the user input and give response according to that so it's the like a kind of a in natural language understanding last but very important package is nest async for that type pip install nest async Thank you. Person 1.3.3. As you see, we use the nest async queue package 1.3.3 because we use Rasa 1.10.3. But what is the use of this package here? Since you already know Jupyter Notebook run on event loop. So to run Rasa in Jupyter Notebook in asynchronous mode we require this extra libraries for that 
well the installation is done now move to the development of rasa chatbot for that let import some of the libraries like first one is import os now import rasa import rasa and import nest async queue we import the nest async queue to run to run the rasa in asynchronous mode so for run it into the jupyter notebook we have to apply the nest async queue so we apply nest async queue dot apply method to apply it to the whole jupyter notebook session and then if the event loop is ready then we print it so print the statement print event loop ready now our event loop is ready as we don't have any initial project yet so we have to create the initial project first and then after we have to modify it according to our problem statement so to create the initial project type from rasa dot cli dot scaffold import create initial project and execute it now create a working directory and store our initial project there so for that type project equal to test project and type create initial project and pass the project folder to create the project there and execute it as our initial project is created now move into the project directory for that type os dot ch dir project and print the content as you see there are different type of uh, file in it uh, our project directory such as credential there is endpoint yml there is action.py file that are take some specific action there is a lot other thing that we have to discuss later to train our rasa chatbot model we have to pass some of the file to the model so for that we have create few variables like create config variable is equal well to for initializing config file training file where it stores the relevant data third is domain and fourth one is output where it is store our model after trainings now print that
and execute that statement. Now we can train a model by passing the variable as a path of the file. So for that create another variable which call our model model path rasa dot train and pass variable domain comma config for config file and pass remember here we passing training file as a list so that's why passing in this way and lastly where we store our output in output folder path now execute this line so it can train our model now our training is started where we train the whole model by using the initial data and parameters we didn't modify anything yet once our initial chatbot worked fine then we start modifying it actually it take little bit more time to train our model initial model so for that i pause the video and write back when training is completed as you see the model training is completed and the model is stored in models folder so now to start chat with our model type from rasa.jupyter Jupiter import chat chat and declare the endpoint To start chatting, pass the model path and endpoint to the chat. Type chat model path comma endpoint. And execute it. So it is ready to chat. Let's type something. Say hi. The bot responded, Hey, how are you? Now I'm replying, I'm fine. Great. Now type. Okay. Bye. Type bye. As you see, the model is responded very well. Now let's end the chat. Let test the bot again. Copy this line. Paste it here. And execute it. Hi. I am talking to a human that's great working really fine now end the chat Our initial chatbot is created 
and it worked fine. In next video, we define our problem statement and start customizing our initial chatbot according to our problem statement. And I hope everything is clear to you. But if in case you face any kind of difficulty in understanding any part of this topic, please leave a comment below. And I try to help you on that. That's all from my side for this video. I hope you like the video. So don't forget to like the video and if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, do subscribe my channel and press bell icon to never miss an update about our videos. Till then, happy learning.